What is happening, people? So, this morning, it is December 8th. You hear all the dogs behind me, they're excited. Uh, they know that they're getting ready to go hunting. It's kind of like carrying kids to carowinds. Uh, they're all excited and hyped up. Hey guys, we're going to ride over here and uh, we're not going to shoot any rabbits today. We're just going to let the dogs run again and uh, hope that don't disappoint you uh, that we don't shoot any rabbits. But we're trying to toughen the dogs up. We got some good hunts coming up where we will be killing some rabbits. But anyway, hey, you stay with us. We'll go jump a rabbit. Jump it, shoot him. Jump it, shoot him. Somebody's ready to go hunting. Bust the doors loose. Good gracious. I say they excited to go hunting. Hey guys, let's go jump a rabbit. Oh, you ain't taking a gun. No, I ain't gonna shoot no rabbit. Huh? I ain't gonna shoot no rabbit. I might shoot one later on. Mm -hmm. If they run long enough toward the end, they I'm gonna get to show that puppy something one. Half a dog saw him, half didn't. There'd he go. So these dogs trail that rabbit from way down there, all the way up the side of these woods, trailing him, cold trailing, all the way up here, and run him in this little patch right here and we saw the rabbit the dogs went all in there and the rabbit just shot back across here so we're going to ease right up here and see if we see him well we're gonna we're gonna ease see this see this old house behind me so they brought the rabbit around and into this yard behind this house. I think somebody lives there. I don't think, I think they at work, but when they get around the old house like that, there's a lot of different scents. So they've checked the rabbit out in the yard. And uh, so you can see the, you can see the dogs are coming back. So it's very important. We don't want them to give up on it. We're gonna go up here to the yard to where they cut off. And uh, this is very important yeah, that fence is on. That fence did hurt? Yeah. Come on here. This one. This spoiled one right here. This spoiled. This is Trixie. She, uh, now this dog right here, she is going to come in. She comes back and checks in with me. They're not actually running. And she hadn't seen me in a while. She's going to come and check in and see. She's going to find out where I'm at. And uh, so I don't expect she would ever hunt with anybody else but me. So as I was saying, uh, we were going to go up and check behind this house where this they lost this rabbit. But this fence, this cow fence is on. It's done shocked a couple of the dogs. So we're going to actually pull out and... Uh, Go down and see if we can jump another rabbit. Did you jump it? So Kenny just jumped the rabbit. So there they all go like a bunch of wild Indians.
this whole time we've been watching the dogs out in the field. We watching uh, who's, you know, when you're training and you're watching dogs early on, you're watching, you know, which dog's out front, which one picks the track up, which one circles out, picks the track out a little further. Because sometimes in the area where they lose the track, they just can't smell it for whatever reason. And so as they circle out further, like in the woods, you know, it may be more dew out there in the woods, in the shadows, than it is here. It may be drier. So they can smell the track out there better. So sometimes the rabbit, they'll pick the track up out there and go down through the woods. So it's very important for your dogs to be able to make that circle and pick that track up. So all, so all the time we're looking, if we have a dog out front that's cutting, that's pretty bad. That if they pull out of the pack, run up past, and come back to the front trying to get the track. That just continues to pull the front dog. And that's the worst thing you can have in your pack is a dog that's cutting out, going to the front, and pulling the pack first because they'll get faster and faster and faster. And as the dogs get faster and faster, and if a rabbit track makes a turn, they'll overrun it. Well, overrunning it by 10 feet is much better than 50. And 50 feet is better than overrunning it by 50 yards. So they get out 50 yards and they lose the track, they gotta come. It takes them a lot longer to come back and actually find the track. So I hope that makes sense to you. So it looks like like they picked the track up. The rabbit didn't come back this way, so we're gonna hunker down right here and wait. We got a lot of electric fences behind us. The road is the road is right out here behind us, so we prefer to let the dogs run back in here where they'll stay out of trouble. Well, they just jumped the rabbit back up. Sound like one of them sight raced him. They're coming right along in here. They smoking that joker. There comes a rabbit right there. Right at it, right there. He looks like a little rat. There he comes right there. I got my finger on him. Right there. See him here he comes right here. Here comes Kenny towards the graveyard, coming right to you from the graveyard. Dead rabbit. Had a little bother right here. That's okay. They so still got dogs right there on the track. So then they're picking it up right here in front. They're picking it up and they're carrying it on. And they're getting a little wide. We don't like them to get wide. And they should pick it up straight right there. Go right on up there where Kenny's at. And, you know, we, we got a young dog in the pack, uh, a puppy that's never been around any shooting. So uh, Kenny actually shot up in the air on that first rabbit that we shot, just to get the dog used to hearing a shot go off, because some dogs are really, really gun shy. And uh, so we decided we was running this rabbit and he wanted to keep towards the road, so we decided we would take this rabbit. and. Uh, so actually I tried to turn him to go back down the bottom, but he was determined he was gonna come up here. So uh, we also wanted to shoot a rabbit and show it to, we also wanted to shoot the rabbit and show it to the puppy, uh, cause the puppy, here's the shot. And at the end of the run, there we stand with the rabbit. So that computes in their brain, oh, 
That's why we're here. All part of training the beagle. So you made a long shot on that rabbit. Did the puppy see it? Did the puppy get to see it? There she is. Come here, girl. Did she get to see it? Come here, girl. You know, another thing, uh, you know, puppies, when they're with the owner, and this is Ken, a puppy's Kenny's dog, uh, you know, puppy ain't around other people, and you load and unload, and that also makes a dog nervous to be around other people. Now, Kenny, my dogs and Kenny's dogs, we've hunted together so long, they're not nervous, but when we have other people hunting with us, they're a little more timid because they don't know those folks. They don't know their scent, but uh, that's another reason to acclimate a young dog, so this dog doesn't know me. So when I move, she jumps. But as I hunt with her and put my hands on her, she'll learn that I'm part of the pack too. It's all about being part of the pack. You know, another thing I'm gonna point out, you see how these dogs walk around, wagging the tail, tails up, tails up, tails up. That's a happy dog. Now see, this is that puppy right there. See how she's walking with her tail down? She's nervous. The, uh, the fence got her a little while ago. Now she's not even a year old. And that fence shocked her and she ain't got over that yet. But as you watch your dogs, and, and during the day you can begin to see when dogs begin to get tired. Uh, so when they get wore all the way out, their tails will be down. They don't give out. As long as their tails is up and they're wagging, they're in, uh, they're, they're feeling good. They're in good shape. Oh boys, I just jumped a rabbit right here. I was trying to get my camera out. Down through there they go. Sitting up here on the sunny side of the hill. Seems like they're coming around the side of the hill right here. Which, which dog jumped that rabbit? I don't know. I know, I know it, Maggie saw it. It was, a, it was a black and tan dog in there. There they go up the hill on the other side. They they putting it on him now. All the dogs done got caught up. Well, it wasn't Sissy, that dog of mine, because she was in here late. There goes the rabbit right there, y'all. Went right up under that tree. Trying to get him to go across the field. Yeah. There you go. Let's see if they can work that out. That's a tough trail. So this is about this is what makes good rabbit dogs right here. That, that rabbit. And underneath them pines right there. Now let me show you what that rabbit did. It went under that pine and went up the hill. Stop come back through the pine, come over here, and we just seen him here. So he's got a double track over there on that hill. So we're gonna watch, see if these dogs work that track out, back across here, and then I walk right up on top of him, and back down the edge of this field. So we'll see what these dogs do with it. circled enough that they found, it took them a, for a little bit to pick it up so they up here so remember the rabbit went up that field and come back and sit down right on the side of this stuff here so we're gonna see who's gonna work it out again and bring the rabbit down the edge of the field right here so 
This is just a prime example of how rabbits slip the dogs and fooling them. See, the dogs are still up here circling. And this is, uh, this is the time the dogs keep working till they can work that track out. You see, they'll come on down the edge of this field and hit it, and then they'll be gone again. So you always wonder why sometimes when the rabbit is moving slow through the woods, he hops a little bit, sits down, sits there for two or three minutes, and he hops a little bit, sits there for two or three minutes. And the dogs is running that track. He's putting out a tremendous amount of scent molecules, and the scent molecules fan out across the ground, so it's a little tougher to track it. When the rabbit takes off through the woods and makes a long run, when he runs 100 yards or 200 yards, straight in the line, he puts down fewer scent molecules, which makes the scent track narrower, and it's easy for the dog to fan on that narrow track and run him. So that's why a lot of times when you first jump a rabbit, you get such a good run on that first one till he goes somewhere and sits down, and then they have to work the track out and bring it back. So when the rabbit takes off running, two things. The rabbit takes off running, he's laying down a narrow scent trail, Easy for the dogs to track it because there's very little trail. He moves slow like when he gets in a thicket. He's just hopping along, hopping along, hopping along. He's putting out a lot of scent in that thicket or whatever he's in, brush pile or whatever. It's a little more difficult for the dogs to actually track the rat. You ever seen such a pretty dog? That is a pretty big one right there. She's gorgeous. Good girl. Uh-oh, get in there, baby. Come on, load up. That's why I always wanted to be to bed. To bed. Yeah, you know, I don't know. With that color. Come it's, on here. It's possible. Come on here. Get in there. Uh-uh, get in there. I don't think I filmed anything since uh, that rabbit went down the side of the field. So I cut the camera off and we were just standing there waiting. The dogs carried the rabbit back uh, down the bottom and we were gonna wait and actually shoot the rabbit for the dogs when it came back. Well, they went down, chunking, and just cut off. And we give them some time to circle. And so we actually walked in there thinking maybe the rabbit had sat down and walked the dogs through there. Temperatures done got up to about 60, so they were panting pretty hard. And we couldn't pick the rabbit up. And uh, so we, we're pretty sure there's some a lot of groundhog holes in there. So we feel like the rabbit probably went in the groundhog hole. But Oh, one thing I want to run by you guys. So I'm going to be doing a series of these rabbit hunting videos from now through the end of March. I'm going to try to keep up with it and post them within a day or two after we actually film them. It's all of the, 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 the rabbit hunt is all about the dog. And so if you have a dog photo or your favorite rabbit dog that you've ever had or your favorite pack of dogs i'm going to link in the link below my email address send me the pictures of your favorite dog the dog's name and uh and maybe a little short description about the dog uh if you have a favorite dog in the past or you have a favorite beagle now and i'll put those pictures on my rabbit hunting videos and we'll share it with everybody and uh, that's what we out here we out here to share with each one and if you happen to have a, a kennel that you sell beagles uh, or you want to sell a dog, uh, send me the picture of the dog, the kennel name, and your telephone number, and I will link that in the photo section of these rabbit hunting videos. Hey guys, we enjoyed the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you in the field.